guys, we are in the city of Nazareth, where Yeshua spent his childhood. You see there some stores. We are going now to the Church of Annunciation. It is also a debate, a dialogue between the Latin identity of the Roman Catholic Church and the Arab identity. I'm as an Arab Christian, I never know what this Latin meant until I never knew it, until I was at the tour guide course and someone told me that verbum caro factum est it habitavit in nobis means that the word had become blood and flesh and dwelt but among us. This is the mystery of incarnation. Hi guys, so now we are on the market of Nazareth. Actually, most of the stores are closed, but hopefully soon it will be open for the tourists. So, yeah. The market is an oriental bazaar located near the Annunciation Church. It's a colorful, unforgettable experience for the tourists where one can both shop for souvenirs and rub shoulders with the local residents. As you walk the market, you will find winding streets with a variety of scarves, shoes, olives, books, umbrellas, suitcases, kitchenware, locally produced, hand-beaten and engraved copper articles, and traditional hand-patent icons intermingled with fresh-produced exotic spices, fresh fruits, and vegetables, and special Arabic sweets and more. The very unique passages and old buildings inside the market provide every visitor a vision about old Nazareth. Come back to it at the end. What you are seeing right now is a well-known Kanafe store in Old City of Nazareth. When we went back to that place, it was already closed, so I decided to put a video on what Kanafe looks like. Yes, you are correct. It's one of the famous Arabic sweets. So guys, if you are looking to taste the best kanafe in Israel, go to Kanafe M. Ali in Old City of Nazareth. Yalla! And our next stop, the El Babur Galilee Mill Spice Store. Located in the heart of the holy city of Nazareth, the 120-year-old family-run El Babur Galilee Mill is renowned for its range of exceptional homemade spices, which not only help sate both physical and spiritual hunger, 
but also provide a connection to the Arab Nazarethian lifestyle and traditions in the Galilee region. El Babur continues to thrive decade after decade because it is so much more than a spice store. The meal has been at the heart of the city of Nazareth and an important economic, political, and cultural center amongst the Arab Israeli citizens for over a century. Its identification with the city and the entire Galilee region make it an ideal place to get to know the state of the mind of the Arab sector in Israel, mingled with the Christian culture. And when I talk about freaky, I talk about early kitchen. Because you need to understand that we never ever had the rice in this country. And we always, our kitchen has to do with bulgur, cracked wheat, with freaky, I will say what's freaky in a minute, with wheat rather than anything else, okay? The free kids, the expensive rice guys. We invite you to experience El Babur. For those who want to eat but would rather have it healthy, El Babur is your finest choice. Now, it's time to visit the Goddess Corner, which is owned by our tour guide for today, Gada. Gada's Corner at the Nazareth Market is a place where visitors of all ages can experience the unique culture and history of the region through arts and crafts, live music performance, storytelling, and culinary arts. Next season that God has given you wheat, and with wheat you would pay everyone back then. There's no, there were no money. So this is a harvest blessing. In Europe, they created it for another reason. They believed in the field lives the spirit of harvest. And when you harvest the whole field, there's no room for the spirit to go. So the last bundle, there's the spirit of harvest. You create one of this for the harvest spirit to dwell for the whole winter. And when you plow in your land, you bring it back and spread the seeds from it. So that's it guys. That sum up our whole tour in Nazareth. Hope you enjoy watching and see you again in my next vlog. Bye!